hey welcome back to that's so trendy diy all right so today we're going to be doing six easy modern home decor diys these are all real simple real easy to do a lot of the supplies are going to come from the dollar tree so you can be able to find them this canvas did come from five and below so you can get a big canvas at five and below for five dollars or you can get a two pack which is a little bit smaller but you'll get two in the pack or you can go to your local hardware um what do you call that place you can go to your local um, local michaels or whatever craft store and you can get your canvases there and they're going to be a thicker canvas but for this one i just used this five and below one and this is going to be the first project that we're going to get into today so let's get started okay so for the canvas like i said i used a bigger canvas from five and below and i'm just going to mix these two color acrylic paints one is like a darker kind of mustardy kind of color but i want like more of a creamish color so i'm mixing it with um about two part white and then one part of the darker color and then mixing it so I can get kind of a, a creamish color. You cannot fully mix it if you want and then get some kind of marble effect, pour it on, like, you know, the pour paint look. But I just wanted it in certain spots. And this is the good thing about abstract art. When you're doing abstract art, you can do it, you know, many different ways. That's why I'm always trying to show you how you can make your own abstract art because it's a great look and you don't have to spend a lot of money like i know a lot of higher end places will charge a lot for abstract art but you know you can make some on your own just with a little bit of playing around with it so once i was done adding the cream color then i came in i love a pop of gold so i have this gold metallic paint that i use in a lot of things either i'm using gold metallic spray paint or i'm using gold metallic paint but I have this gold metallic paint that I use in a lot of things because I like the way just a little pop of gold looks on things. And then I came in with the baking soda and paint mixture to give it some texture. You can do this with every color. You can do it with one color. You can not do it. You can use plaster. There's so many different ways to get texture in your artwork. But for this, I'm just going to use like a chunky mix of the baking soda and the acrylic paint when you're using the baking soda with darker colors sometimes you might get a little bit of a grayish look when you're done but you can just go back over it with the original paint color by itself um i even added in some splatters here like i said with abstract art you know do it however you want after i looked at it i was like mm, and i came back over with some black i came back in with some gold Got it up on the wall, and then I said it was missing something. I feel I feel like it's gonna continue to miss something. So um, I added in these two. I'm gonna go over it with black when that dries. But this is the fun of art. You play around with it. Um, I don't know. I'm like, do I need a square here, like a black square there, or a gold square? Maybe if it had a um, frame I don't know I don't know but I'm working on it so this is it when it's done and I do love the way that it turned out let me know what you think would you had added more darker colors would you had framed it let me know what you think okay now for this one this one is real simple real easy you can get this leather from the dollar tree if you can find it i got mine from cricut but you can get leather patches like squares from anywhere but it's just a leather catch-all tray so let's make a modern leather catch-all tray that you can find at a lot of high-end places i'm noticing a lot of them now have um a lot of leather pieces like um little baskets and stuff like that that you can put like magazines and stuff in catch-all trays i even seen that i'm gonna try um a candle holder like a tapered candle holder but it had like a leather detail but we're gonna get into that but we did not in this video but we're gonna do that one all right so let's get started so now for this one this one is a simple one too and it's just you can get i haven't seen leather dollar tree in a while but you can get leather from dollar tree i just used this um leather faux leather fabric that i had and you're just going to want to make sure that everything is equal mine was about 12 inches and then i'm just going to fold it fold it again and then cut the corners off cutting them equally i cut about two inches in on each side to cut another little square out so you want to make sure that they're even because you're going to line them up 
so i'm trying to make sure they're as even as possible you can cut them individually and make sure that they're absolutely perfect without stacking them but i wanted to save a little bit of time so i stacked them together and then what you're going to do is just fold them line up the sides inside if you know if you understand what i'm saying as you can see you can use fabric glue you can use hot glue you can go back you can stitch it i used um the hot glue and then i did go in and stitch it after with the machine but if you don't have a machine you can hand sew it you cannot sew it and just you know get you a good glue make sure that it adheres real nice and you're going to do that to every corner like i said you don't need a machine to do it but if you do have one that'll be great once you're done with that then i came in and i top stitched and again you can hand sew at the outside and this is how it looked and it reminded me of a lot of pieces that i have seen in high-end places so this is a cute way to make a leather catch-all tray all right so that was that one so now let's do a I don't know what to call it. It's um, a candle holder, but we're not gonna actually light the candles in it because it's plastic and it's from the Dollar Tree. But it's just looks, if you're looking for something like a centerpiece for your table or something like that, this is like a big chunky kind of piece that you can use as a centerpiece on your table. And it's like a, a candle holder. And then it, I kind of gave it like a metal effect. I don't know, tell me what you think. All right, so let's do this one. All right, now for this one. This one is simple again, and items are gonna be from the Dollar Tree. These are the champagne glasses that you get from the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna use the cup-like part, not the base part of it, and uh, this piece of wood that I had. This is a soft piece of wood. I don't know what kind of wood it is exactly, but it was curved, so I really couldn't use it for anything because it wasn't completely straight. So I measured down, spacing out the cup tops, and then you can see you can put a little light in there. I wouldn't light it because I don't think this is fire safe. It's a plastic cup. But it's a cute little centerpiece that you can make. Then you're going to measure out evenly, like I said, with the cups. You can use the cups to help you measure. Or you can measure with um, a ruler like I did. But I did use the cups as a guide to where I was putting the marks. I wanted to make sure there was space in between each one. And then you can drill the holes. My drill bit wasn't big enough to make the holes completely. So um, I just, you know, wiggled it around. Because <laughs> I want, needed it to be able to fit in there kind of snugly to stay up. So I just maneuvered it around until I was able to put the cup in there and it would stay and then I also came in after that and I hot glued them in too so that they would stay in place. Um, you wanna to try to be a little bit neat here because you don't want hot glue everywhere but you wanna make sure that it's in there nice and secure because if you're gonna put candles in it, you want it to be able to hold the candles. This is how it looks once it's dry and then I taped off the top part of the glass because you want to be able to if you're going to put candles in there for display you want to be able to see the candles and then I came in with this hammered spray paint after I taped it off and this is how it turned out the lines could have been a little bit neater but I think it is super cute and I have seen this candle light in high-end places now for this next one it's real simple it's a piece that I already did before but it was like a little flat to me. I like I like stone looking pieces, but I'm trying to add a little more texture and different things to stuff. So I wanted to give it just a new modern look. So it's like a modern vase that you can do. And I've seen these a lot of places in the high-end stores also. And they can be rather expensive. So you can find them both on the cheap side. But the, I mean, the modern places have them. They're very expensive. So I wanted to do this one. And it's a touch up on an old DIY. And to show you that you can bring your old DIYs back to new life if you wanted to. Okay, now this is something that I did before and I just wanted to give it new life. I did it with this stone um, textured spray paint, which comes out exactly like it looks on the top. But um, I wanted to give it just a different look. Because of the texture, I did have a little bit of bleed through and I had to clean up the lines at the end. So if you wanna hand paint this, you might get a better result than using um, the spray paint if you've already done the stone texture on the vase and I got this vase from the Dollar Tree of course but um so if you want to do that so you don't have the bleed through 
that might work a little better because I did because of the texture it wasn't like a, a straight you know clean adhere and I'd sanded it down a little bit to remove some of the texture from the top and then I just hit it with the spray paint like I said and then I came in and cleaned it up and this is how it looked I love it super clean super modern and something simple and quick you can do So now we're going to, I'm going to show you how you can make a big modern centerpiece bow. I seen this bow on Restoration Hardware and it was very expensive and it was just a bow with a gold inside. And so I was like, let me see if I can go to the Dollar Tree and find some pieces to do this. And this one is super simple, super quick. And your DIYs don't always have to be elaborate. You know, a lot of minimal pieces can make a big statement in your home. So that's what I like. I like minimal simple things you know that make a big statement okay now for this one this is like i think a drip tray from the dollar tree or something like that and you can get these for a dollar like i said but it has like a little dip there and it is plastic i seen this big modern tray at restoration hardware and it was like hundreds of dollars and i was like that's just a bowl with gold in it so i was like i can do that so i just took and cut off you want to try to cut it as even as possible um mine might have been a little bit wonky i tried to clean it up best i could to take some of the shine off i used a textured spray paint so you can see it's shiny not shiny on the outside now with the textured spray paint just to get rid of that you know plasticky look and then i came in with the gold metallic paint and painted the inside and this is a, it's a really big tray like there's like i had like four candles in the begin with Okay, so now for this last one. It's real simple. It's just a Dollar Tree bowl. Kind of gave it, I wanted to give it a metal-like effect. I think I might go back and give it a textured look because um, the spray paint I used didn't give me that exact metal look, but this is just an idea. Something that you can do to elevate your Dollar Tree pieces and give it that more modern high-end look. Um, all right, so let's get into it. All right, now for this one, this one's super easy, super simple. Another bowl from the Dollar Tree and the little bowls from the Dollar Tree. I wish I could have got the bowls without the lines in it, but I only had three without the lines in it. So the fourth one had the lines and you can see them. If you want to use a textured paint on this, that might give you a better look at covering up some of the you know full paws in it but i just glued the balls on like legs you can glue anything on really like legs on this because it's a really lightweight bowl um and depending on if you're going to be putting anything in it you want a sturdy leg but if you're not and just using it for display you can use anything lightweight and just have a cute little fun shaped bowl so i glued the legs onto the bottom the rubber balls there and then i just came in and i hit it with a metallic like kind of rustic spray paint and this is how it turned out. All right, so that was it for today's home decor and DIY. Let me know what you thought, and I will see you in the next one. And just so you know, for the new year, we do have bigger and better things coming, along with the home decor DIYs. All right.